Val's Formation is a new passive augment for Lavos that gives him 200% elemental damage upon casting the imbuement. So if you imbue Corrosive, then launch out an Aphidian Strike, you will gain 200% Corrosive damage for your weapons with guaranteed status for 20 seconds. The duration scales with duration. The 200% is fixed. Now do note, if you change the imbuement to a different element before the balance ends, it will change the element immediately, giving you a different damage boost. So you can't stack multiple imbuements, only one at a time. Now this augment is great, but I'm not going to spend 20 minutes on end for Lavos, as I already did that months ago. The augment is good, but there's not much else to say. However, what I do want to talk about today is Decoy Lavos. As we discussed before, Damage Decoy is a new augment for Decoy that allows it to spread status and deal true damage. With Saren, we showed a nice automatic spore setup, but a few comments highlighted a possible setup with Lavos. At first, it sounds a bit redundant, since Lavos' entire kit does a boatload of elemental damage, and having 5 more status effects seems insignificant, and this is kind of true, because Lavos' elemental spreading is really good, but also gives him a form of CC, as enemies are disrupted from various elemental procs. So, damage decoy at first glance seems like it won't do much. It also doesn't help that the damage decoy itself is kind of janky when enemies are within your aggro range, as they sometimes stop shooting at the enemy decoy and go for you instead. But do note, the AI just breaks every update as usual, so more pasta and spaghetti. However, on the initial cast of damage decoy, you can actually force the nearby enemies to focus decoy briefly. This gives all nearby enemies 5 free status effects, which does go hand in hand with Catalyzer, since Catalyzer to my knowledge has old condition overload scaling. So the combo is pretty simple. Find a group of enemies, cast Decoy, then they focus each other and become primed. Then cast your other powers for more elemental effects, then launch Catalyzer. To alleviate the issue of cooldowns on Decoy, since Lavos has cooldowns instead of energy, you can run Swift Bite. This augment allows you to reduce cooldowns of your powers. Use this in conjunction with Transmutation Probe, and your powers are on a very low cooldown. And that's pretty much it. Decoy Lavos. It might not be as interesting as other synergies, but it's one to note regardless. Free status effects are always good to have. 